excruciating number of dates lately, and quite frankly, I'm a busy, busy, busy woman. And, and I just don't have the patience or the time for them anymore. But I enjoy chatting with you, Lana, and well. <laughs> you pretty much look like your picture, so what do you say we just say good night? Good night. <laughs> and, and go right to the second date. Excuse me? Stan, I'm not going to repeat myself. I'm a busy, busy, busy woman, and I just don't have the patience or the time. Well, uh, second date. Why not? It would skip all that messy first date stuff, and you pretty much look like your picture, too, so we're on our second date. Pat, hi. Stan, good to see you again. Anyway, I thought we could go to this great little French. Hey, Pat, you know what? I never really cared much for second dates either. They're, you know, trying to figure out if you like her as much as the first date, or if the first date was all based on blind, desperate hope. So since we skipped the first date already, would you mind terribly if we also skipped the second date? I had a great time. I'll call you soon. I went right to the third date, where we both act like we're having a pleasant time, but inside we're getting ulcers, trying to figure out if we're going to sleep with each other or not. Mm. The sexual tension part, yeah, 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 that'll help rush things along. Uh, but you know what's down? <laughs> busy, busy, busy. Uh, what do you say we skip the first, second, and third dates and go right to the sex? Right to the sex? Right to the sex. <laughs> Works for me. Uh, taxi. taxi. <laughs> oh, but wait. First time sex. Do the lights stay on? Lights go off? Will I satisfy you? Am I even going to be able to? Get it up! Ouch! <laughs> so, uh, what do you say we skip the sex and go right to the morning after, where we both try to figure out how to get out of what we got into the night before? Yeah, yeah. Uh, but, but you know what, Stan? My schedule is really tight, and I just don't have time to make up all the reasons I'll need to convince myself to go out with you. So, uh, what do you say we go to when we've been dating for about two months now? Which is when I would start getting real interested in you. But you would inexplicably start backing away. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Or, we could jump to the part where you ask me if that dress makes you look fat. And I don't answer quickly enough, and you don't speak to me for three days. Possibly. Or, we could go to when you tell me you want to start dating other women. I give you an ultimatum. You choose to leave me, but then an hour later, you come crawling back <laughs> like a whimpering dog. Yeah, I always love that part. <laughs> oh, but this is so time consuming. Uh, what do you say we jump right to our first argument? Our first argument? Yep. Y you mean you want to skip all the positives of our relationship and jump right to our first fight? Be a major time saver. <laughs> <laughs> Bitch. Bastard. Ball buster. <laughs> hey, yeah, nice. <laughs> OK, now let's, oh, oh, wait, I, I got it. Don't, don't. You, you, you're going to love this. Let's go to when we've been broken up for about a year. Oh, when we bittersweetly bump into each other one cold, and foggy, miserable night in front of a, a Starbucks. Oh, oh, and you have a date, and, and I don't. Of course. <laughs> You first, you first. <laughs> Pat. Stan. Hi. You, you look great. <laughs> Pilates. <laughs> oh, uh, this is Tamara. Hi. <laughs> We're off to see the Impressionists at the Met. I always loved the Met. Uh, so, uh, we should get together sometime.